Hello, my friends, and welcome to Thursday Live with Barb Ryder. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator coming to you from Michigan. I hope all is well with you. Hello, my friend Nancy. I'm just double checking here that uh, we are live, and that is what I see. Fabulous. Hello, Sue and Deb. Welcome. All right. I'm just checking the volume. All right, very good. Hi, Bobby. Hello, June. Welcome, everybody. Hi, happy Thursday. Oh, golly. Um, so much happening in my world, but it is summertime, and hello, Carol. Um, we have a couple projects tonight. Um, one is a fun fold and one is just a nice layout that you can use all for anything. Um, so hopefully you'll enjoy that. As everybody is jumping on, I'm just double checking here. Um, okay. Yep, it doesn't tell me. It's interesting how this works. Um, <laughs> it really is. Um, okay. Well. I'll tell you what, I have some fabulous cards to share with you tonight. Um, what else do I have? Um, besides the great projects? Yeah. So if you are a demonstrator, you know that we are able to see the digital copy of the mini catalog coming out for the fall. And I would be curious, um, if anybody has a favorite that's a demonstrator on here that you that you like in the catalog at this point. There's some new things coming up. There's some scrapbooking things coming up. Um, just changes that Stampin' Up! is making. So if you have not created yourself an online account, you need to do that because you're gonna find things in the online store, which by the way is right up here right there um, that's my online store and um, there are things there that are not in the annual catalog or the mini catalog so you definitely want to go check that out uh, when you get a chance so all right I'm gonna start out right with the projects I have a nice stack actually I have this whoops whole stack of cards to share with you guys um, from swaps <laughs> and also from um, cards I received in the mail. So I'm going to go ahead and turn down the camera and we will get started with our projects. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use two products out of the main catalog, our annual catalog, because I know those are available. <laughs> so the one of the items we're going to be using is the Countryside Corner Dies. I don't know if you can read that. If you are interested, that number is 16147. I can't see through my, the way I have this. One. 161471. These are the multi, I have a couple of these out because we're going to be using them, but you get all these different dies. So many fabulous things, and I have a great tip uh, to share with you using one of the dies tonight. We're also using the um, Country Birdhouse stamp set, not the dies. So if you didn't get the dies and just have the stamp set, these are great sentiments and great images. Um, but we're only using the stamp set for tonight. Hello, Sue, and hello, Diana. Hello, Hetty. And Taryn, welcome everybody as you're jumping on. I want to share with you what I have for tonight. Um, so those are the two main products that I'm using. And let me tell you where you can find them. Because if you want to choose a bundle, then you would want to go to the catalog, page 50 and 51 in the main catalog. Um, here is the dies and the stamp set coordinating paper that coordinates with this, ribbon, all of these great things, page 51. So the bundle, 
it gives you a bundle price or just the stamp set. You can look there on page 51 for that. A uh, couple other things we're going to be using. I'm just going to turn the page while we're here. Page 109 of the annual catalog, the Countryside Inn Designer Series paper is right here, this blue paper, and that actually was in a um, suite with the um, Countryside Corners uh, dies in last year's catalog. We're going to use that paper, and then in addition, we are going to use... Well, there's the dies. That's the thing that I was looking for. You can see how they've used the dies over here on page 123. All right. The dies are $28 if you haven't picked that up yet. Hello, Jeanne. Um, thank you. It's nice to see everybody's names popping up um, since I had to be out last week. So um, as I continue on, again, these are the two main things that we're using. There is the countryside birdhouse dies. Birdhouse, birdhouse, birdhouse. Okay, those are going to go over here out of the way. First project that I have for you is actually going to be um, using a couple of the stamps from the birdhouse set. And um, what we're going to do is this is a basic layout. I've already pre cut with my dies the pieces that we're going to need, okay? This is our base card. It is eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. And then I have a piece of boho blue, which is four by five and a quarter. Okay, that's gonna go right here. And here I have a piece of the designer paper, the Countryside Inn designer paper. This piece is two inches by four inches. And you've got these tiny little, um, flowers as the background and then this side has trees and some flowers um, on the back side of that but we're going to use this piece I've also um, so here are three pieces that I've cut with the corner side dies one for our sentiment and then these are to layer um, this side is a nice pretty stripe and then this side is the floral now we had a um, boss folder that would work with this um, designer paper, but that's retired. They did retire that, so I didn't use that. Hello, Mary Ellen and Margaret. Welcome, you guys. Thank you so much for sharing. Uh, so this is a super easy layout, but let's go ahead and get started and see what we have in store. Uh, we are using Misty Moonlight. This is Misty Moonlight, so we're going to be using th that as our um, base here. So I'm going to bring this over. I'm going to put this over here. Get myself a little situated. <laughs> All right. Okay, so let's just go ahead and stamp our sentiment. Let's do that first. And I have, again, Misty Moonlight. Now, I know that... If you have the older stamps, those are a little bit different. You push them and then twirl them around. When I say stamps, I mean stamp pads. Um, these stamp pads, uh, the new ones that you purchase out of the catalog now, are going to pull up and around and then slide them in. I know some folks are not familiar with our stamp pads. Maybe you're new watching me for the first time. Maybe you're watching the replay. Maybe uh, you're catching me on YouTube because I do upload these on YouTube so that you can um, go back and refer to them very easily at my channel. Um, so I just wanted to share that if you haven't watched um, and, and then are new to Stampin' Up! Uh, I'm choosing to use Hello Friend, and actually I need to scoot a little bit closer here. There we go. And Hello Friend, I'm going to stamp that over to the side. i got to get my head up here a little bit, uh, right there. All right, so I've got it on one side. And then I have a little flower out of the stamp set, which is really, there are some uh, different flowers in this stamp set. Here's one, here's one, lots of different ones. I am using this one right here, and you will see that. Uh, I'm also going to grab my blender pen. Okay, so Misty Moonlight and, goodness Barb, there we go. 
Oh, ink that up all the way. I didn't get it quite ink up, ink up all the way. I'm going to stamp once and then I'm going to stamp off again to the side. I'm going to ink it up, stamp it off because if I, I would have got this funky looking thing if I had done it the other and not um, stamped it and then, um, but see how I've got the variation in color? That's what I was going for. Okay, because the lighter part, the lighter right here, the lighter um, Misty Moonlight really coordinates well with the designer paper. Okay, so hello friend, and that's going to go on the front. So on the inside, let's go ahead and stamp a few of these um, flowers. So I'm just going to stamp, and I'm just going to stamp until I don't have any more ink. Um, and then I'm just going to, I'm going to come down here and kind of do the same thing. And then stamp it off again. I need to come up here and I need one more there. So just to give some decoration on the inside of the card, super easy. Let's go ahead and clean this off. How many of you have the, um, the uh, birdhouse stamp set, Country Birdhouse. I love it. Taryn, have a fun time up north. I was just looking at some of the comments. That's why I hesitated in my speaking. All right, we are done stamping. Let's close this up. We're going to use this color for the next card also, so I'm just going to leave it over here. And let's go ahead and put this together. Again, this is a super easy um, design layout. And you could use all kinds of, uh, di you know, different designer papers. You can use textured paper. You could do solid paper. You could stamp on solid paper. So many things that you could do here. One of your favorites, Sue? I agree. I like it. I really do like it a lot. You have the Country Birdhouse set. Awesome. All right, so we're going to go with this boho blue right here. Boho blue was um, one of the in colors for last year. So this will disappear um, 2025. But for now, it's hot and ready to go and all the good stuff. All right, this is the designer paper that we're using. So let's go ahead and uh, put some adhesive on that. I'm going to bring this up a little bit. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I've got it quite in the middle. I think it just a sliver higher than the middle. Make sure when you're using these types of designs, it's easy to get it upside down. But can you see those little flowers there? Okay, next we're going to take our um, Misty Moonlight. And then we're going to take this piece right here. Now this piece, I'm actually not going to center it. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put this down flat, but this is a super easy card, but I want you to see the versatility in these countryside dies. All right, let's put this um, kind of in the middle of the card, like that. Okay, so there's a little more down at the bottom than the top. That's what I want. And then next I'm going to go ahead and put my designer paper on here with the flowers. And I'm going to bring this over to the side. I don't want it in the center. I just want a little bit trying to balance this out from top to bottom so it's a little bit even. All right. So it looks a little funky right now, but that's okay because this is going to balance it right out. Look at that. And I didn't realize I should have put my flowers on the other side because <laughs> they're kind of, well, they're kind of in the solid, so it's not too bad. I guess it's not too bad. But anyway, let's pop this up with dimensionals. Grab some over here. Oh, well, I didn't think, I didn't think about it. I should have put those flowers over on the right, but that's okay. So let's put this right here so that it's kind of in the middle there and I'm on my uh, designer paper over to this side. Hello Peggy, thank you for sharing. All right, so here's what we have. This is what we have. And the last thing that I have to add to our card 
are these gorgeous iridescent pearls. They will be perfect to fit in this dark area and probably even one right here on this flower. Um, oh, remember I said that I was gonna take my blender pen? I decided not to use this after I initially had it in my head to use it because um, I did the stamping off and got the variation in colors on my flowers here. So we're not using the, the blender pen like I was planning or thought that I would use. You know, sometimes I create these things in my mind. I know what I'm doing, but I haven't created a card yet um, initially with the design. So that's what I did here. <laughs> I thought I was going to do some coloring, but I didn't. All right, let's grab these pearls and um, there's two sizes in here. We're gonna take the smallest size with my take your pick tool. I'm gonna put that right in the center of my flower right here. And then let's grab some of these, um, the bigger one and um, let's, uh, let's do this and grab a smaller one to come right there. Um, let's grab another small one to come right here okay so there is our super easy um layout using the designer paper in the country and dies nice and easy card okay and then some flowers on the inside so there's card number one card number two is a little more involved for those of you that like a little more challenge in your cards so i think you will enjoy this next fun fold i have for you but let me get these put away and go from there thank you thank you i'm glad that you think it's pretty now hey guess what if you were a demonstrator that met the sales challenge and you get the exclusive paper, um, this designer paper is the same thing except it's in pretty and pink. So I'd love to see a pretty and pink one done with this. I unfortunately wasn't able to make my challenge, the sales challenge for that month. And so I didn't get the pink paper. So I would love for you guys to share using the pink paper um, all right, so let's take, get our next card. And again, we're still going to use, um, the birdhouse set and we are going to use, um, uh, pecan pie and misty moonlight. Um, and the stamps, well, we'll do this as we go. All right, so let's move this out of the way. Um, we are going to use two of the dies, like I said, from the, the set, and we're going to use our little mini cut and emboss machine, uh, after we do some cutting. Now this piece is, um, four and a quarter by 11 and it's scored at five and a half. So this is a little bit different. Uh, you can do the hamburger style or the hot dog style. That's what they call it. You know, you can cut your paper this way or you can cut your paper this way. So I have the hot dog style here. Um, let me grab my cutter right here, our trimmer. And we're going to make a cut on this paper. All righty. So let's open this up. And I'm going to, since it's already scored right here, I'm just, what I need to do is I need to put this uh, in line with my groove. Got some paper in there, excuse me. And I'm going to cut from this corner to this corner. So I'm gonna cut at a diagonal here. And so what I'm gonna do is lay this um, right in the groove of my cutter, right there. And then while that's in the groove, move this point down here in the groove down to here okay so and the dark is my cutter so here's here it goes I'm gonna cut from this corner to that corner okay so here is the extra piece and this is going to be the front part of our card okay let's see here there okay all right that's all I need the trimmer for this at this time 
Hello, hello. You never heard it called a hamburger or a hot dog cut? Okay, Peggy. <laughs> I know, I thought it was pretty funny the first time I heard it too. Um, all right, so here's the front of our card. I've already taken a piece of our designer paper. This is from the Countryside um, Suite, and this is one of the designer uh, pieces, paper is out of the suite with the birdhouses. Um, again, I think it was page 51. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna take this, and let's go ahead. Where's my adhesive? Over here. Hang on, I lost you. There we go. I'm looking at my computer and it my screen uh, moved out of the way. <laughs> it went it went dark. All right, so let's get some adhesive on here around the edges. And I'd like to get it right at the tip corner tip too because that way it won't pop up. And what we're doing is this is going to fit very nicely. And it's going to um, have a little bit of an edging all the way around. And let's lay that down just like that. Okay. All right. So, see that? That's what we want. All right. So, we're going to put this to the side for the moment. We're going to use this piece. I'm going to bring in my um, mini cut and emboss. And I need this this die right here we're going to cut that out off of this piece um, there so you need one two and two uh plates when you're cutting with your little mini and uh let's see just going to lay that down in here it's just going to fit for me i think i measured it just to be safe but it will it will, okay, just making sure I'm, uh, okay, there we go. And then I just have some uh, old washi tape here. I'm gonna um, tape this down to hold it so that I do get it the, where I want it to be. And run this through really quick. Okay, and then we have this piece from our scrap. Okay, so we need that. And I'm gonna save my dye or my washi tape. Okay, next, I have a piece here. This measures, this is Misty Moonlight. I'm leaving this here, we're gonna use it again. This piece is actually nine inches by three and a quarter okay so when you fold it you've got four and a half by three and a quarter this larger die what we're going to do is we're going to make this but we're not going to cut it out with one piece um see how see how you can see okay what I want to do is I'm going to cut this, but I don't want to cut my fold. I need to leave my fold because I still want it to open. So I'm going to lay this, get this lined up just like that so that it's not going to cut my fold. All right. That's what I need. So I'm going to hold this. Let me get this lined up with my pieces. And yes, it's got to go through two pieces here. So I'm just laying it down, making sure that I've got it right there. Sorry, I gotta concentrate. <laughs> All right, got it. All right, so I'm gonna tape this down at the bottom just to hold it where I want it to be. All right, let's take this and lay this down. Stay, please. It did not wanna stay for me. There we go. All right. Okay. It does not have to be the same um, in the back as the, I mean, I don't have to have this plate all the way shoved in there is what I'm getting at. All right, so here we go. So it's gonna, um, oh, I guess it's working. Okay. All right. Let's see if it went through all four. Yes, it did or two, excuse me, all two, 
two pieces. All right, so there's my edging. Got it? You guys following me? Let me get this out of the way now. I want you to see what I did is I made myself a beautifully shaped card. Okay? But that's the trick. You can do this, but you have to make sure you don't cut your fold. Have you guys done this trick before? This is great. Okay, we are done with the little mini cutting emboss machine. Um, I'm done with my dies, and so that I do not lose them, I'm going to put them back on my magnet sheet. <laughs> I love these magnet sheets. These are from Stampin' Storage, but you can use all ki any kind of magnet that works is going to work for you. Okay, but here are all the dies. Look at all these dies that you get. I love these. Okay, here we go. Get this back out of the way. And let's put this, uh, let's do our stamping. We'll do our stamping next. Okay, so we have this, and we have this, and we have this. Okay, we're going to be stamping on these two pieces. So let's bring this back in here. Um, I want to show you how to use um, this piece right here a little differently than what you might have seen it used before this piece right there um, okay so that, that goes up here and here let's grab the little wood piece I have the bird I have some other the little design in words and that's what I need okay so first of all we're gonna take our pecan pie and we're going to make a little branch with this little guy right here um, and so um, let me think about my design here for a second <laughs> um, okay so yep okay all right I'm just going to ink this little um, log or whatever I, I guess it is um, what do you call it um, it's the, you know how your wood, wood grain, wood grain is the right word I'm looking for. Gracious me. Okay, so there we are. So let's come right down here at the bottom and I'm going to um, stamp the wood grain here. I'm going to ink this up again and I am going to go as close as I can and stamp that again so that it looks like I have, mm, let me see, I'm looking at my computer, but it doesn't look like there. Um, gracious, there we are. <laughs> it looks like a, a, a piece of wood all the way across, right? Um, now, the next thing I am going to do, I am going to use my blender pen on this one uh, because I do want to um, color this just a tad. And I've got already got some ink uh, squeezed in this right here. It's hardly any on there, but I do want to kind of color this a little bit to give it a little bit of um, form. Instead of just lines, I want it to look like um, it's a branch that the bird is on. Um, okay, and you know what I'm going to do? I am actually going to stamp this again the opposite way so that this line at the bottom let me see hope I don't mess it up but this is this is what I'm doing all right there we go so it kind of looks like a the wood that um, anyway that is my idea <laughs> hopefully it looks like a piece of wood to you guys that is what I wanted, kind of a branch or um, wood that the bird will be standing on, okay? And then I'm just getting the extra color out of my blender pen so that the color is gone when I want to use it for the next color, okay? So lay that over here to the side. Um, then next, we're going to close this up. Now we want the blue because... We're actually going to stamp the bird in blue. 
and it's going to be the um, um, Misty Moonlight. And the bird will be standing on the wood, just like that. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to close that up. We're going to use brown for our sentiment. I am going to go ahead and use the blender pen. Now with the darker colors, you can actually, I'll, I'll bring it up close, but you can take your blender pen and you can actually kind of just go over top of the, the color that you've stamped and it will pull that color in for you. I'm going to show you, um, bring it up closer. So the bird itself will have a little tinge of blue, like it's a blue bird. Um, if you are one that likes to use the blends, then, you know, you could take that, use the blends and color. I don't know if you can tell, but there is a little hint of blue on the bird where the blender pen pulls the color in and colors the bird. All right, so that's what I want. And then um, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and we're going to stamp our sentiment. And this one is going to say happy birthday. And that will fit right on this in the middle. Um, hmm, okay. It's kind of big or wide, but that's okay. Maybe what we could do is use our flowers, but I don't have another color there. So I think we're going to leave it like that. Okay. All right. We're just going to use these two colors. I had it in my head. Like I had mentioned before, I have these in my mind, I have what I'm looking to do. So hopefully it makes sense. I wonder, maybe we could, maybe we could use that. Okay, I've got this little fun, fun looking, um, like eyelet, um, stamp that is in the stamp set and we're going to go ahead. I'm going to make a little design up here at the top. I just have to get my head. I, hopefully I'm not in the camera too much. Oh, that's kind of pretty. Okay. It's not right at the edge, but I think it's okay. Um, I'm just going to leave it on the top. We're going to use this again, actually. Um, let's see. Before we put the blue away, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to use this little eyelet design. Now, why did I decide to do this eyelet? It's because that it kind of matches the designer paper that I have on the front of the fun fold. So, all right, this little eyelet design, I believe, I just... Maybe I can see better if I do this. <laughs> I think that white is tripping me up. Yep, it sure was. Okay, so here we go, right there. Okay, I'm just, I'm just adding some design to the piece that's going to go on the inside of the card. That's all I'm doing. If you guys follow me much, you know that I like to take things and um, figure out ways to use the stamps differently than what is so obvious for everybody else that they're doing so that's what i wanted so that will tie into the inside having the little eyelet on the happy birthday um yeah i think that's all i want okay uh we also have um the inside and i think i'm gonna go ahead and stick with the the brown for this one and it will say Hoping you have the best day ever, okay? Just so that we have a contrast on the inside. And let's stamp that right there. So we have happy birthday in the, on the front and then hoping you have the best day ever on the inside. Let me clean these as I go so I don't forget what I haven't and I have cleaned. So if you are just joining, I see some more people jumped on here. Thank you so much for being here. If you're watching a replay, again, thank you so much. And just make sure to give me a thumbs up when you like something, and it'll just help the algorithm go through and do all the fun stuff that it does <laughs> in the world of Facebook. 
All right, so here's what we're doing. Um, we're going to put this fun fold together. So this piece is going to go right inside here. That's going to go right here and just match beautifully with the, you know, coordinating dies. They nest right together there. And then this is going to be the front. And this little guy is going to go on the front like that. And that will coordinate so nicely just like this. Okay. Uh, this piece... We're going to take uh, some dimensionals. We're going to pop this up kind of right over here. And I feel like it just needs something else, but let's see here. Should it go here? I'm just trying to decide where it should go. Um, I don't know. Oh, guess what? Guess what? I stamped this on the wrong side. No wonder I was looking at the, how it's right. <laughs> this is the side I should stamp on. So guess what? I'm re-stamping that, you guys. And why? Because I can. <laughs> how frustrating. I knew I'm like, this just looks funky, but that's why. Gracious me. Okay, we're going to do this again. <sighs> Don't you love? Don't you love how... You can just do what you want to, when you want to, with your stamping. Uh, okay, let's get our little eyelets again. Are you guys laughing with me? Okay, let's, um, maybe, maybe I should do it this way. I think I'm going to do it this way. There we go. I think I'm going to do them like that. I think that's what I want. And... Um, okay, so there's that one. And then let's go ahead with the brown and do our happy birthday one more time. <laughs> um, happy birthday is right here. Peggy, what, what, um, did I, I don't know what I asked. You said middle. What do you mean middle? Stamp it in the middle? Put it in the middle. Oh, okay. I just figured out what, what you were probably talking about. Okay. There's my happy birthday. That looks better. I like the little eyelet thingies down at the bottom better. <laughs> okay. Done and done. All right. So now, okay, let's clean these two. Yes, put it in the middle. <laughs> Thank you. Because it's, sometimes it's hard, and you guys know me. If you watch me often, you guys know. Sometimes I just have the hardest time putting these gems on here, you know? So, um, all right, so let's get this put on here now. Just like, like that. We're going to go right towards the edge so that the beak is really right by like that okay so that's what we have and i have this on correctly i promise you um because what we're going to do is we're going to put adhesive on this back side okay and then you're going to open up your fun fold and you want to center this Just like this. I want to get it straight all the way around. Okay. So there's the how the, you do the front. And so then you have your open here and you have your open here. So there is a, it's a really easy fun fold. And you can just make this square. I just wanted to show you how to make this really cool, um, design in your folded over card and then last but not least we're going to use the um adhesive back pearl trio and there are some pretty blue um the blue ones in here that coordinate really nice 
so we're going to use that. Thank you. Glad you love it. Glad you like it. It's a real easy fun fold, and it's something you can go to, um, you know. Um, wow. You know what? These are actually too big. Now that I pull them off to go onto here, they're just too big. So let's see. Let's see what else we have. Let's go into the box of gems <laughs> and see what will coordinate. Oh, you know what? I just got these new gems and they're like pecan and clear pecan pie and clear are what they're called so maybe that would be a nice touch because there's some larger and smaller ones there i think that might be a nice nice touch with that what do you think yeah i think that would work thanks diana i hope you'll try it okay i just got <coughs> excuse me I just got these. <coughs> uh, excuse me. All right, let's do this. Let's use the pecan. So, um, take your pick, and that should work out. Work out good. Okay. So we've got some that are a little bit bigger, and they're like flat. So I think that they would look much nicer. Um. I'll put a little one over there. I can't put one there. You guys, all right. I'm trying to trying to make these look the best I can. There's that one. I want a little one. Maybe here, over here. Maybe there. Just like that. The other thing that you could do, which I didn't, but you could take Wink of Stella and you can make a sparkly bird. You could do that. Um, that's a thought. I just didn't use my Wink of Stella. But there you are. So um, is this a little different fun fold? I mean, the concept is probably similar to what you might have seen otherwise. Um, but there's that. And then it opens here and here. And then you still have room to sign your name, right? Now you could add blue over here, I get or brown. I guess I could have put some brown over here, but I wanted to take up some of the white whiteness over in this side. So there you are, and that does that looks like a tree trunk or a tree limb. limb. Um, uh, there's no leaves that you can stamp in this um, stamp set, so. Or that would be pretty, too, to put a couple leaves there. Thank you. Awesome. I'm glad that you guys like that fun fold. I um, am going to put these all over here out of the way. <clears throat> and then bring both of the cards back in so you can see them. And let's see. I think we'll do this because the background takes them takes them up but here we use today in the class we used um, the countryside in paper and the countryside in dies the two um, pretty easy cards to be honest look at it's only 745 and I've done two two cards so um, I really like them I'll take photos and I'll have those available but let me share some great um, samples with you guys of some swaps that I've received. And I'll be honest, I actually think that I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera around so that I can show you better. And I think I got all situated differently here. Um, because that way I can show you closer to the camera. Um, there we go. Okay. So, let me show you these samples. Peggy, you are welcome. This is, okay, let me see here. I'm going to pull the, the lighting down better so you can see it better. And then this is like a fun fold. And I'll be honest, I can't remember everybody's name of the swap, from the swaps. Most of them are from my team, from our team swaps. I feel like my light is just not good. Let me see if I can um, 
let me try, let me go back down to the project and see if you can see it better this way. I think you can. I think this might be better. Okay, so there's one. Look at this one. This is the sketch but or um, not sketch butterfly, um, but look at this with the wink of Stella. Isn't that gorgeous? And it's got the roping, um, oh, what is, the emboss folder. <clears throat> Beautiful. Here we have this new emboss folder, and it, um, uh, I think Nancy did this one. This is a new embossing folder on basic white, but what she did is she used wild wheat, and she colored the, um, folder and then ran it through it's so it, in person you guys it's so pretty and then there's some wink of stella with the colors on the butterfly and the flowers so pretty that's the inside here is a monochromatic um, i think this one was from maria okay and then there's the inside this is using the peach pie Look at this one. This one is sparkly using the um, summer, splat, summer Splash, I think it's called. Bring it down a little bit. And see the glitter paper? Isn't that pretty? And then this is that big um, circle dot uh, embossing folder. This is using the online exclusive i do believe this is sold out though and then the background is with the one of the other new uh, big embossing folders it's the swirly kind of one i can't i i'm so bad with names you guys i'm so sorry i don't have this one this is one i don't have here's one using the paper that i shared tonight and um just a great, uh, this is one of the layouts in our catalog, actually. Hang on. So we did a swap where we did uh, 1 through um, 11, and I have them printed out big. So I'm going to see which one, I believe that that one is number 1. Can you see? See how, um, see the layout of number 1? And then I'm pretty sure that's number one. And it's got the inside. Here is uh, layout number five. Layout number five. And I believe this is Linda, Linda Barton's card. And then next we have... <coughs> Um, hmm, maybe not. I don't, I don't, I don't know if we have this one. I don't know if this is one of the layouts or not. But anyway, it's gorgeous. I love it. Isn't it pretty? That paper is amazing. And then this one is using the You Are Beautiful, I believe, with the sprig and the sentiment love it i think this is tarin um this one is layout eight all right layout this is layout eight and this one is from uh, maria and here you are using that citrus paper isn't that pretty I have them in the envelope so I know who those were from. And this one is from Sue Somerville. And I don't, I, this is a special fold that she, I don't believe it's um, one from here, from the, the layouts. I can't remember. I'm looking at the date. This is from May. So yeah, I'm behind on my swap cards for sure. But isn't this fun? I think it's so, this paper is so gorgeous. And then when you turn it over, that's where you would sign your name and that kind of thing. Aren't they pretty? Yeah. Love it. Okay. And this one, 
Nancy, this is from Nancy, and this is, um, we had a, like a, okay, I don't know how, to, like a partial die cut. It's hard to describe. Anyway, we did it where, see how it lines right up with that die cut? It's so awesome. Look at that. And then here, this actually pops open. See that? Isn't that fun? Um, and then here we have, I believe it's this design, number three, right here. And this is um, Donna from uh, Kentucky. She's on our team. That's using the, the um, meandering meadow paper, I believe. So pretty, Donna. Love, love all of this, you guys. Now this one is uh, another swap, our June swap from um, Sue Somerville. And it was using designer paper. That was our swap. And so this is one of the online exclusive designer papers with the St. Nick, I believe. Uh, and then our, the circle, excuse me, the circle, we've got, oh, I can't think of the dies, what they are. But anyway, we've got three different, there's three different designs of the circles. They're awesome, but so nice. Love it. And then here we have that big circle dot die um, folder again. Got two more cards with using that. Donna, this was Donna's. And, um, yep, this is from June. But look at this. I love it. I love the, the idea, the concept of it. And watch. It's a fun fold. Look at that. And then inside, you've got the circle on the inside, the same size as this. Whoops, I keep getting out of the screen. Sorry. <laughs> but I love this. I like the stamp set anyway. I love the stamp set. So pretty. And this is using the peach pie. And uh, that is the Summer Splash, I think it's called. And then I have one last one from Sue Devu. And look at this prettiness. Oh, she's got the embossing folder over here. And then this pretty little bow and this gorgeous paper. And then here's that circle dot um, embossing folder again. So awesome. And then on the inside. And one of the tips that she gave me is that she sends her cards inside out so that she has something covering the front of the card so it doesn't get damaged or if there's embellishments and such. But isn't that great? Love it. Thank you. Super, super stuff, you guys. I appreciate all these beautiful cards. And again, for today... Here is the two cards again. Thank you for sticking with me and watching through. I appreciate all of you being here. Um, I am looking forward to um, working on some other um, projects, um, cleaning up my stamp room. Oh, and by the way, I have a new job. I'll be starting a new job on Monday. Um, I will be going um, back to work in the office and I'll be working for an oral surgeon that I worked for years ago when my kids were little and um, it's called Legacy Oral Surgery in Ann Arbor. So I'm looking forward to that so much. I'm really excited, but I've had this week to like do things and get things organized. I've been working a little bit in my room, trying to get things together. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sue. I appreciate it. I'm just glad you guys are all here. I appreciate all your comments and just hanging out. Um, I'll look forward to seeing you guys again next week. And um, gosh, I just, I think that's it for tonight. Look, I made it before eight o'clock. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> all right, you guys, I'm going to say good night. You have a wonderful evening and weekend, and I will look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye.